Just as we do in any sporting event, for example, swimming, there are three stages that we go through. First of all, there's the start, which we commonly call the hook. Make sure that when you use the hook, that you get the audience involved in what you're going to talk about. You may do this with a question, or with a statement, a statistic. Pause at the end of this to give the audience enough time to think about what you're going to say. Then, just the same as in a race, there's the middle of your speech, which takes you to the conclusion or the ending. The end is very important, the conclusion. Again, this may be done as a question or a straight out statement. Timing of your speech is important. You will be given a time. Try to keep as close to that time as you can. Not too short, not too long. Pausing is very important. If you make a point, pause. Give the audience a chance to think about what you're saying. If you deliver things too quickly, they're going to miss something. Make sure that the words that you have at the end of your sentence are just as clear as the other words in the sentence. Don't let it fade away to nothing. Your pitch and emphasis are important. There are certain words that you will say louder or softer, quicker or slower, to get a point across. And gestures. Try to limit them. Don't overdo the gestures. And make sure that any gesture you use adds to what you're saying and doesn't take away from what you're saying. Well, we've prepared, we've practised, now comes the day of the speech. Don't panic. Don't worry. Get a good night's sleep the night before. Try and relax. Don't over-rehearse. The dreaded palm card or cue card. Some people feel more comfortable if they use them, but use them just as that, as a cue or a hint to where you're going. And all you need for that is a word. You don't need a full sentence. You don't need to have the whole speech written out. Just a few words that will help you along the way. When you get on stage, take a deep breath, look around the audience and begin. But make sure when you do, you include the audience. Every single person in the audience is important. They want the speech being delivered to them, not to the wall at the back of the room, not to one single area of the audience, but look around the audience and include the people as you're speaking. Make them all feel important. And if, and let's hope it doesn't happen, but if you forget your speech, if something goes wrong, don't panic, don't apologise. Just pause, take another deep breath, relax, and you'll be surprised how often everything comes back to you. And then you can continue on and deliver your speech. I've been most impressed over the years with what people here at Guardian Angels have been capable of doing. Many of the students have been absolutely superb. You can be superb if you remember a few of those tips.